On the, uh, on the left, what we have is our dual-core Opteron. And so what, you, what you'll see is that as the demo is kicked off, you'll see how quickly that picture is rendered, uh, both for the dual-core solution on the left and the quad-core solution on the right. Now, both of these systems are equally, uh, unlike our competition with their latest product, which is only suitable for two-socket processing. So wanted to demonstrate, if you will, the harder problem and that is for the four socket uh, platforms. So the only difference between these two platforms is again the processors and they are running at identical frequency. And so what you'll get a sense of from this demo is the scaling of that four sockets uh, of the four core over the two core holding frequency the same. The workload that's being run here is a Pavre. Uh, that's a part of the uh, spec CPU uh, 2006 benchmark. And so this is a pretty common benchmark that is utilized by many engines. On the lower right hand side, and I know you can't see it in the back, but it's showing the utilization of uh, all the processors. And what you see is uh, this, uh, this server system is able to take advantage of all the cores in terms of them uh, delivering that, that kind of performance. Quad core just finished, even though it started a little bit later than the dual core. And you see the dual core solution is still working through the task. Now the dual core is finished. So for the uh, quad core, it was over 4,000 pixels per second, and on the dual core at that same frequency, it was a little over uh, 2,200 pixels per second. At the CPU time for the quad core, it was a little over 62 seconds CPU time, and for the uh, dual core, it's about 116. So again, on the order of about a 2x uh, improvement. Now we all know that depending upon the workload those, those uh, results are going to vary, but again, equal clock frequency, equally configured systems on a pretty well understood uh, uh, benchmark, Pavre, we're seeing on the order of 2x between our dual core and our quad core. Uh, let me be clear, the, the uh, dual core that we're showing here, it's not our fastest dual core in production, neither is what we're showing on the quad core going to be our fastest quad again. So heading on the workload, you are going to see, in certain cases, workloads like this, but for equivalent frequency, will be twice the uh, twice so the performance. This Barcelona product that we showed you today is a part of what we call our high efficiency line, Opteron HE. And that HE product uh, is, is a premium product in the sense that it delivers outstanding performance per watt. And what we're seeing is a shift in the, um, the buying criteria, the buying patterns of our end users to where many of them are now shifting their former purchases which were around our standard product and they're shifting their business towards the, the uh, power efficient product, the HE line. And so when we went up, when we embarked on this, this notion of delivering ever increasing levels of performance to our server customers, we did so and said we're going to keep the thermal and the power requirements identical as we go from dual core to quad core. And if you think about that, you know, this investment protection story has been something that's resonated very well. Now, mostly what people think about when they hear about investment protection goes back to Jim's question earlier, and that is, as you went from dual core to quad core, what did you have to change? And the answer is, well, all we did was change the, the uh, processors and the BIOS, and that was it, and everything else was held constant. And that talks about how there's the capability for our partners to do quad core upgrades. But I think if you, if you reflect a minute on the buying patterns within the server industry, what's much more powerful than that is that we see that many of these end users that have, have constructed data centers for thousands and thousands of servers, they now face the following prospect. They have a set of platforms that, they're, um, that, they, that they buy from, say, an HP, an IBM, a Sun, a Dell, an Optron platform that they currently purchase from them. And they've outfitted a data center where they can buy hundreds, even thousands of these servers. And now all of a sudden, they face the prospect of being able to buy a, a platform from their trusted OEM and have the only difference be that the processor was upgraded. It's the same platform in all other dimensions. That possibility exists and so they don't have to go in and, and try and understand uh, how is this going to be disruptive from a, a perspective of I used to buy a set of dual core servers, rack based servers, now I want to buy quad core. And the answer will be within that same cooling, within that same power delivery uh, infrastructure that you've established, you'll just be able to instantly get far greater performance without a single incremental watt of power, without a single incremental investment in your data center. And I think if you, if you reflect on what's gone on in the industry over the last 20, 30 years, that's unprecedented. 
What we've seen uh, historically is that as we continue to increase performance, we put greater demands on power delivery and cooling, and data centers have to be retrofitted in order to handle that. And Barcelona is going to deliver a solution that requires none of that, but rather will allow our customers and our end users to benefit these dramatic performance improvements with no change in the infrastructure at all.